erase the damn thing. That's why I built it. bunch of stuff out get a shit ton of orders out thank you guys very much as usual again i am rocking the pure function hoodie right now there's only a couple left guys thank you so far i'm so uh, tongue-tied right now but thank you all for the orders that you've given me so far it's much appreciated uh, i've got new key tags on the website now which are right here um go ahead and buy some guys help me out help a brother out like i said youtube is not paying really anything anymore for us out there uh the only way we're making money is by doing patreon or selling merchandise again trying to stay away from patreon if possible so i'm going to try and sell you a product so at least you get something out of it all right let's get back to the vlog all right guys so i just got back here watching a little tv now uh watching my dog have a panic attack back here uh but just getting some quick packages out this actually has nothing to do with um actual shirts or anything a lot of this actually this is some stickers and this is actually a coolant uh, reservoir tank that i had to get out real quick um i forget where this is going hold on here i don't want to show the address yeah that's probably a bad idea but i need to go back out in the garage here real quick so as you guys saw there in the last video i was having a ton of issues with this bad boy right here um it wasn't too happy so if you guys saw the last video the brakes were a major, major issue. Uh, the powder coater really fucked up. In plain and simple, that's what happened. They had a ton of grit. When I mean by grit, they got a ton of, when they were sandblasting, they left all the sand and stuff in the brakes. I had to clear them out, spread them out, and then all the bleeders were caked. And I mean caked full. They were like solid. We tried digging them out, and then I said, screw it, and went down to Van and bought all new bleeders because there's so much gunk in them too. They wouldn't even, after we got the craft room and I could bleed through the old bleeders, it wouldn't seal properly because there's so much shit inside there still and when it would try to tighten down it would still leak some so i said fuck this and i went and got all new bleeders since i did that it seems to be sealing out it seems to be good um still not happy not happy at all actually i'm, I'm pretty upset with the guys um I, I need to speak with him i left him a voicemail today but he knows i'm pretty well pissed off um i would never recommend them uh, it's just plain and simple they, you know, one, the color isn't right. The front calipers look proper, they're good. The rears, for whatever reason, they couldn't get them right. Um, and it'd be a big deal if I knew that, okay, this was a known issue, but they tried all this stuff, supposedly, but it kept getting worse and worse. Instead of getting better and better, it kept getting worse. Every time I got it, they just, you could tell they just cared less and less. They're like, I just want these fucking things out of here. This guy's just being picky. Well, if you want me out of your hair, you should have done it right from the first try instead of trying to dick me over. So. And the car is drivable now. Um, I have been driving in here the last day or two. Uh, they do look good. I mean, that bright blue looks fantastic behind there. When I get the new wheels, it'll look even better. Uh, the rears are okay. Theirs are worse. The fronts are pretty much, besides all the crap inside of it, but the finish on the rears here that you can't even see the face is okay. But there's some spots on that I'm just... Don't pass the Ryan Scott test, as in they could be a lot better. There's things about them that could be a lot nicer, um, but it, it's, it suffices for now. What is weird, though, is going from driving this all the time to driving that, the power difference is mind-blowing. But the difference is drivability is this thing is 10 times easier to drive than that thing is right now with that stupid-ass clutch in it. Um, once I get the clutch fixed in that, I think I'll be much happier, um, and I'll probably even drive this even less then. I do need to get another project car that is on the list of things to do. It's just a money thing right now, so I want to get something else, but this needs to get lowered yet. New tires on it it's because the ones on it don't work for what I'm looking for. Um, and once I get that done, I think this car will be pretty well perfect. Get an exhaust on it too. Um, do some things to clean up the engine bay. Um, one other thing I wanted to ask you guys, I know my MR2 friends out there, 
Now, here's something if you didn't know, so I'll give you a little backstory on this car. Uh, the bolstering on this doesn't seem very, doesn't seem very good in my opinion, but if you guys can tell, this is a real turbo car, FYI. But as you can tell, I don't have the turbo adjustments here. So the person who had this before wanted to get this wrapped, or the seats wrapped for her husband. Well, to do that without him knowing, she went out and bought seats from a junkyard. Well, the seats were non-turbo seats, had them wrapped and put in the car. So they're not true TT seats, so it doesn't have the adjustment, the lumbar adjustment here on the side, which I'm technically okay with, but I don't know if the TTs have, or the, I shouldn't say TTs, the turbo models have better bolstering on the side because I feel like it's very loose. It doesn't have enough bolstering. The bottom seems to be okay, um, but everything else could be a little bit better in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's just, I don't know. Maybe you guys can give me a little bit of insight on that. Oh uh, guys, uh, one thing too, I have this map sensor here. Um, see if I can get the focus here real quick. Uh, I have this map sensor and I don't need it anymore. So I'm trying to sell it for like 100 bucks. So if anyone wants a Toyota OEM map sensor, let me know. I really, really need to work on setting this thing up. So I apologize if it's not zooming in quick or if it's taking a skinny minute to zoom in. Um, I haven't messed with it yet. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or some while I'm editing and doing some other stuff, I'll mess with that. All right guys, it's another day now. I've had a little bit of an attire change, but for today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the super out here today. And I'm gonna do something which I've already done here with the MR2 and that's hook up a microphone in the engine bay. I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I'm gonna take the Rode mic that I used to put on top of my um, GoPro, use this and stuff this inside the engine bay over here. I think this should suffice. It worked really well with the MR2. I hope it picks up enough sound. I hope this muffs enough too. Cause you know, this kind of stuff can get really loud and might blast out the, what's the word I'm looking for? It might blast out the actual microphone itself. So I'm gonna stick it over here by the intake. Well, let's pop the hood and I'll show you. So the plan is to stick the microphone like right down here by the front of the intake. And the blow valve is over there, but I'm hoping it picks up both just because when I let off, this shouldn't be making a noise. And that thing, when it lets out pressure, it lets out some serious pressure. So I'm hoping I can get both with this. Um, and I wanna leave the intake on just for the fact that, you know, debris can get in. God forbid this would get loose and it would get sucked up the intake. Just a whole bunch of things could go wrong, so I'd rather just lose this than destroy the motor and all that other stuff, destroy the turbo, etc. So I'm gonna leave the intake on for this, although I would get some better uh, noise with it. So let me go ahead and hook this up and let's get this car out on the road. All right, guys, if you didn't know also, to use a GoPro external mic, you have to have one of these GoPro packs. Uh, GoPro went full retard, kind of like Apple did, and requires these things now, which, uh, let's take a big guess here, it's 50 fucking dollars, I'm sorry, 55, to just use an auxiliary microphone. Quite annoying, and it's quite large. Uh, this is another reason why I wanted to get away from that and go to the Canon on top of this being a lot better for low light and everything else. But just want to show you, there's the microphone down the engine bay, routing it up here, and this is my ghetto way of doing it, routing it here, and then I have my GoPro right there. So I just need to attach this now, run the rest of the wiring up to it, and then let's go for a drive. Well, I did the idiot thing, and uh, apparently I left the key in the ignition on this thing. Don't remember doing that, don't know why I did that, but yeah, so I'm trying to charge up the battery right now and this thing will not focus for the life of me. Not sure why, um, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to get this thing to charge up right now. It's turning over, but it takes so long to turn this thing over that it needs a good bit of juice. So I'm gonna let the car run here for a second and then hopefully once it's done here, I can get it to turn on. Hopefully, uh, let's, yeah, let's hope. So we got Jose here right now, guys. He just helped me solve a major issue with the car. Uh, I call it major because I was panicking. As you guys just saw, I have my jumper cables here because the car wouldn't start. I checked all the fuses, checked the fuel pump. Nothing was going on. Jose, call him right away, and he's like, uh, just unplug it, you idiot. I'm like, okay. So I unplugged the ECU, plug it back in, and it's good to go. Obviously, he didn't call me an idiot. He always helps me, but thanks, Jose, buddy. I appreciate it. See? So I'll link... Yep, I'll link all his stuff down below for you guys here. Um, yeah, he's always the one helping me a fuck ton. He's the one that built the wiring harness for the car, built the fuel pump wiring that you guys are always asking about. So he's the man, he's the myth, he is the legend that is Jose. Again, I'll list all his stuff down below and uh, thank you very much again, buddy. Yeah, sure, no problem, anytime.
God, baby Jesus. That was fucking fun as shit. I hope that audio for this thing comes out crystal clear because guys, that was fun as shit. I had a ton of fun doing that video, or that clip I should say. Um, yeah, I hope that came out well. I need to pop the hood here, make sure my mic didn't move. Probably should have checked that halfway through, but I'm kind of an idiot. So let's see, all right. Looks like the mic held up just fine. Uh, the old duct tape method did work, so sweet. Hopefully the audio is good, hopefully nothing came disconnected, hopefully everything's good. So let's get this done. Uh, I got a few more things to talk about, let's wrap up this video. One thing I did notice um, is third, right at the top, I was just about to go into a fellow giving me a little pushback, so I let off the one time. I think I'll edit that out most likely, maybe I didn't, because uh, I'm seeing this all after the fact. Um, it kind of scared me a little bit, so I got off it, tried again. It felt a little notchy and stuff. Um, I'm hoping everything's okay there. It was going in, it didn't like grind or anything, but it gave me some pushback, which is usually it doesn't, I think it's more clutch related than it was transmission related, uh, which is technically is a good thing. But it's been holding up and I was beating on it hard. There's a lot of stuff I cut out just because the video is gonna be too long, uh, that I just cut out of the video and it was fun as shit. So the old girl here, she's holding up well. Um, I do need to go run this thing though and make sure that it's not leaking. I mean, the boost creep in this thing is ungodly. Like third gear, first, second, First and second, you're good. Third gear, you're pushing it real close and it's pretty much maxing out. Fourth gear, there's no, period. It's, there's no way to run fourth gear out. End of story. By 6,000, 6,300 RPMs, I'm out. Um, it's, it's pushing so much boost that the car is just maxing out and it's doing me no good. So that is something I really have to work with. Unfortunately, that's just that's part of the game. So, and on that note, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you guys could do me a big, big favor, go down below, check out the website. I'm always posting new merchandise. I got new key tags. I've got a bunch of new stuff on there. I've got my new shirts, which you can see right here. You can either follow the key tag, or I guess these are called cards, or whatever they're called here. You can follow the card, or at the end of this video, I'll have everything linked to, or at the bottom of this video, I'll have it all linked below. So guys, do me that favor, and if you can, go check out the Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!